And this is one of the most famous of all of the hadith or sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's called the hadith of Jibril. And here is something amazing, these two signs. The first sign is talking about when a woman is giving birth to her own master. Now when in the world could you imagine it could happen that children are treating their own parents like slaves. Yet, I was just in New York a few weeks ago at our new studios there, and I was amazed at the way the youth treat their parents. And then it hit me, that describes exactly. Today, even when a child is in elementary, the primary school, they're already talking back to their parents, telling them things like, shut up, to their parents. What are you going to do about it? You can't make me. This attitude. And then as they get older as teens, get out of my face. And disappear. Don't come back for a couple days. And when they do come back, bad attitude. And then when they're maybe at the age of college or something like that, and I heard one say, I'm 18 years old now. I've had it with you. I've put up with you all my life. This is a child talking to the mother? I've had it with you? Who carried the child inside of her? Who's the one that gave birth in pain after pain after pain? Who's the one that nursed that child from her own breast? Who's the one that taught the child to walk and talk, to have what, even what we call the mother tongue, coming from the mother teaching the child how to speak? And let's don't even get into the changing the diapers and staying up all night long. By the way, that's women's work, right? Not according to Islam, no. Look at this. And then, when the parents get old, who says, oh, and I've seen it happen in our own family, who is the one that says, oh, I want the parents to come stay with me, I want the reward. I want the reward from the Lord. I want that. No. No, 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 no. The question becomes, who's going to help divvy up the payment so we can put them in the old folks' home? You've got to pay your share. Now, I don't want to. I put up with them all those years. I don't need them. And then when they die, the immediate thing, actually just before they die, when the doctor comes to them, I heard the doctor say this to some people. that your father has now reached a level of his quality of life is just not there. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know what he's doing. So if he should need life support, do you want us to give it to him or just let it go? <gasps> and if they said, yeah, just let it go. We don't want to waste the money, you know. What is that? And then when he dies... Are they rushing in to take care of the body and be sure it's buried properly? Or they can't wait to read the will and immediately contest it because they didn't feel like they got enough? Yeah, I saw it. To a very sweet old lady. So sweet. She used to cook for them. Even when she was old, by, living as a widow by herself, they would go over to her house on Sunday, let her do all the cooking and washing and cleaning, and then disregard her until Mother's Day. And then they would bring some roses, some chocolate candy, and that was it. That sounds like slavery to me. What do you think? <laughs>